This is Brickhead Boy Toy Reviews. Here we're looking at Oxford Set BM35218, ages 8 and up. This is the Dragon Wagon, 1,071 pieces, Brick for Brick Mania. And by the way, I got this at eBay for 99 with free shipping. Um, 99 is a pretty good price, even at Amazon. I've seen it go from 99 to 30 so... Yeah, 99 I bought it, and then two days later, the price went down to 77 So, I kind of missed out on that deal, but nonetheless, even for 99 this looks like an awesome set. Let's take a look at the back. There's your Dragon Wagon and your Sherman Tank. And it just shows you the specs of the Sherman Tank here. And the Dragon Wagon. So let's open this up and build it. So you get your tank, your trailer, your tractor, or shall I say, dragon wagon, four minifigures, some melee weapons, you have a flashlight and batons with grenades, four backpacks, four helmets, um, yeah, your types of weapons, and on top of that, here are your extras. You still have more weapons here, here and some tools, so quite a handful. Your instruction book, pretty thick, nice. And last but not least, your extras. So to be disposed are these pieces, leftover and that. Garbage. This here was used for construction, but later had you take it off, so that's pretty much extra. And 14 pieces of track, which is very generous. And lots of leftover plates. You have some slopes, tiles, and just miscellaneous pieces. Along with your leftover sticker sheet. Tractor has quite a few. And tank has like three left. So anyways, on to the set. So this took a good three hours. Took my time. Took some breaks in between. And starting with the instruction book. Pretty easy to follow. Again, numbered bags. Very nice with Oxford. And yeah, build your tractor, trailer, and tank. Simple, 
The only problem with this is oh, I'll, pretty much the pieces are all the same color, so it was hard to find that one piece that you're looking for and which took time. So yeah, you can see the majority of the color is that dark olive drab. Let's start with the minifigs. Back to Oxford's older minifigs without the bendable knees. They're more basic here. Um, looks like exactly same torso printing. There's no back printing. The facial expressions on these to me look however a little cartoony. Especially this guy with the big eyes wide open. Um, this one looks like a little crybaby. So, wish there was more minifigs, just four is not that great with this big set. I want to dissect this set, starting with maybe an order. Let's start with the Dragon Wagon. This thing is huge. Not only the Dragon Wagon, but the whole set itself. Looking at this thing, um, there's a few stickers, and some of them go over multiple bricks, like this for example. And Oxford was very generous to have a split sticker, so this one here is already cut in half. But since I opened the doors, there's your engine detail. Not that great. Wish there was more to it. Lots of wheels on this one. Very wide on the back. You have some suspension looking things there. That's pretty nice. I'm not sure what this is. And, oops, I'm missing a piece. Let's put that back on. There you go. Now, I've seen a model of the Dragon Wagon before, so I don't memorize the features. But, to me, for my memory, this looks pretty close or distinguishable. It is a Dragon Wagon. extra tire on the side, an exhaust, and this is probably meant for um, a towing right here. There's supposed to be cables, I guess. I'm not too familiar with that, but anyways, you have a gun on top, and weird looking lights in the front, shovel on the side, and this opens up to reveal the interior, which you can pretty much fit all four minifigures inside. On the back again, um, lights and your hitch for the trailer. And for scale um, test number one, here's your minifigure standing next to the tire. So that's one huge vehicle. So moving on, let's look at the trailer. This thing is huge. You have eight wheels in the back. And there is a cheater wheel. Not cheater wheel, but like a support wheel right there. There's not much uh, purpose of this except to transport the tank. And there's a place to put your accessories in there. Weapons and whatever you want to put. There's plenty of choices. Here's the bottom. I could I feel like this is gonna break off with uh, lots of play. I know Lego reinforces these with uh, Technic pieces. This is all brick built, so uh, rough play. I guarantee you, this thing is gonna just break off. Oh, just like that. Nonetheless, looks nice. Let's take a look at the tank. And here's your Sherman tank. This is not the first Oxford one. As a matter of fact, there was a different one. The Easy 8, which this one was uh, 12 studs wide, Easy 8, and comes basically in a diorama. So, mine I prefer better because mine includes the Dragon Wagon. Anyways, back to this tank here. Features include, of course, the turret turning, and this can elevate up. It's very loose though, no friction. And you have a machine gun on top, as well as this opens up to reveal nothing. I thought there was something in there. Oh yeah, that's right. It's in the back. So the back opens up to reveal your 
same engine as a dragon wagon, very bland. And you have a hammer for tools and an antenna as well as you also have this supposed to be a, a gun which that's a pretty common method to use a lever piece headlights in front hatch on top and a couple hatches here so there are stickers going on multiple pieces like this for example and that and that uh, pretty much all of them do. Sad. Anyways, the instructions call for 58 link tracks on each side. 58 was loose, so I made 57, and it looks perfect. A little bit tricky to put on. You had to remove this wheel hub to put it on, and it does not rotate or move good on hard surfaces, but on carpet. It moves. So here you're able to put your three minifigures in one tank and have a driver for your dragon wagon. Awesome. And here they are one more time. Your trailer, dragon wagon, and tank. Three large pieces in this set. And speaking of that, the last final test, I'm going to compare this with some Kobe and Lego sets. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, these are genuine Oxford tires. Yeah. So your Sherman tank, your Kobe Chieftain, and the Mark I. So I do think Kobe and Oxford scale well with one another. I mean, let's try putting this two-pound tank on here. Fits pretty well. Let's try the Mark 1. I'm impressed. These two tanks do not belong here. Time to put the Sherman back on. There you go. Oh yeah, the Lego compare. So here are your Lego Ultra Agents. Agents and your dragon wagon so yeah hundred dollars was it 89 was it 90 or 100 uh, probably 89 so same price range however Oxford if you're in Korea this probably cost maybe 60 or 70 so and 77 was not a bad deal that I missed so definitely that was something I wish I would have gotten instead of paying 99 Anyways, let's conclude this review. There's really not much I can say about this set except it's awesome. And I already told you I got this for 99 I missed out on the $77 deal. Either way, still worth it for 99 If you can get it for 77 that's hell of a deal. Um... This set is so big, I don't know where to put it right now. Um, I have to make room for my Oxford sets, but yeah, Dragon Wagon, awesome. The trailer, awesome. And the Sherman Tank. If you want the Sherman Tank from Oxford, the Easy 8 is about $50 or more. So I, I recommend just getting this one here if you want a Sherman Tank. And I got this on eBay also sold to Amazon. That concludes my review of this brickhead boy. Thanks for watching.